I'm playing Lucy Seal, and she is Barry Seal's wife. Um, I think she's sort of like the heartbeat of their relationship. She um, is an anchor, a stronghold. She's definitely someone that he looks to. I mean, he's a wild, adventuresome man with incredible enthusiasm for life and the things that he does. And he's passionate about family and um, crazy in love with his wife. And she is, you know, she's the same, but she holds the, you know, family together and has that strong Southern woman, you know, rock that the man leans on. Um, mentality and it's fun to be able to play with that in a lot of different ways in this film. Being directed by Doug Lyman is such an unbelievably enjoyable experience. I mean, first of all, as a human, I just love him so much and he has the biggest heart and he he's such a unique character um, that in himself is very fascinating to watch. So he also carries this, which I feel like him and Tom both have this, and it's great. It's a great thing to see that they have in common. I think it's probably one of the reasons why they get along so well is they both have a childlike enthusiasm when it comes to filmmaking and telling stories that they're passionate about and things that they you know want to do. What's interesting about the two of them is they they don't have any ego. Like what they want is the best thing for the movie and the best idea for a scene or the best you know, shot. And if somebody else can um, do it better or has a better idea, they, that wins. Like that's what they want. You know? and, and they want everyone to do as good as possible and look as good as possible. And if that means like changing lines around or if somebody has an improv like, that works, then they get excited. And, Watching the two of them together, they almost finish each other's sentences at times, and it's really cute. I mean, they're great friends. They're so different, but the things that, um, that they are alike in, that's, I think, something that bonds them together. So it's really cool to watch that relationship, and I've just, I'm like, how do I be a part of this all the time? It's so fantastic to be around. And that energy of two people who are very, passionate about what they're doing and show up to work every single day excited. I mean, I think it carries over to everyone in the whole movie. And it's something that, you know, I love, you know, to be a part of and have learned from and want to carry on throughout everything that I do too. The pants were much tighter back in the 70s and 80s, early 80s. So um, all the men are like, what is the deal with these pants? They're so tight. And the guy, Rod E. Roger, who plays McCall, you know, his first day on set, he looks at Tom and he's like, I split my pants. He's like, I've been here for 10 minutes, I split my pants. Somebody's uh, sewing them up in the back room right now. <laughs> and um, all the women in the movie are like, well, you know, it's interesting. It's 2015, but we live in an unfortunate time when men like to wear their pants a lot baggier. So it is fun <laughs> to, <laughs> to see these guys go through this very extreme fashion moment for men, you know, in time. Hey, Vale here with some cool movie facts on the efforts some actors go to to create the characters they play. For the role of Roger Kint, Kevin Spacey glued his fingers together in the film The Usual Suspects to give his left hand the feeling of paralysis. To prepare for his role in the film The Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas practiced with the Olympic fencing team in Spain for four months. Natalie Portman, for the role as Nina Sayers in Black Swan, trained with former New York City ballet dancer Mary Helen Bowers for up to eight hours a day, six days a week for over a year ahead of shooting the film. Adrian Brody, for his role in The Pianist, gave up his apartment, sold his car and moved to Europe with only two bags, so he could get familiar with his character's discomfort. He also went on a crash diet and lost 30 pounds in six weeks, weighing 130 pounds at his lightest during shooting. Whoa. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. Bye bye.